sometimes you get people that can, oh, I'm just doing these again. Sometimes you get people that are really good at tracking you to get inside control. So say um, I'm in Rance Butterfly Guard, I get inside control, right? From that position, as I try to bring my leg back, um, Ryan's left shin's tracking my leg, so as I no, not just you're just extending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now I'm trying to get inside control. I just can't beat this on my knees because I have less mobility on my knees. He's more closer to me. He's more connected to me. So if I can't release that, maybe I will start to stand up from this position. If I start to stand up from here, hands come back, and I just put two hands on the shins and I physically stand up to this position here. So let's look at how do I get inside control from standing inside the butterfly. So it was my choice to stand up inside this butterfly guard. We will look at a staggered butterfly and a flat butterfly. So just to say Ryan's here, that, that it would be harder for me to pass um, this, this guard. Both have pros and cons, I don't want to go down that, that path. The main thing you want to be thinking about is, obviously I want to step in. That would be very difficult if I have no angle. The minute I try to step in, Ren's bringing his what is yes, and he's in. Or as I try to step in, he's just bringing that in on the inside. So as I try to step in, bosh, we're there the whole time. He's got inside track. So I need angle. Okay. So there's a couple of ways we can get this. Um, just with me cutting an angle to there. See the way he had to make a movement. If I move to Ren's right, if he doesn't do anything, I have angle. And now I can just step in. But what's going to happen is, as I cut an angle, he cuts, he, he's moving. But as he's moving this way, I now just step in. You know, I'll wait on the moment. You know, the minute I step this way, as he cuts an angle, now I just step in. As I'm cutting an angle. That's one option. Second option is just, let's get this over. I can use my hands. I can put one hand on the shoulder and one hand on his elbow and push him this way if that makes sense notice the way when I push him I've got angle and what does Ryan want to do he wants to come back to face me so I push and as he comes back to face me I just step in so the best time to step in is when he's getting his angle back does that make sense so there's a couple of ways of doing that um, another thing I could be doing from this position is I can put two hands here and I'll just put my head in front of his head and then from here I will come down and find this, and I start to pull him this way. And now from that position, I let it go, and as he tries to get it back, I just step in. Does that make sense? And then we're back into the usual story. Once I've stepped in, it's, the usual, it's, it's our usual crack from there. I've already got the grip. I'm coming over from there. I'll make my grip, roll over the shoulder. I'm in the T come here position. We've, we've discussed a lot of the issues from here. We, we know if I'm late and Ryan um, spins to his knees, we showed you a nice um, sweep from this position. But another thing is if he spins to the knees, I don't think we covered this. From there, I can take his back by taking him out from the knees. So watch, I just bring in my feet here. And all I'm doing is pushing on his knee here and taking him back over, collapsing his base. That makes sense. So, so whether I was passing on his knees, I got inside control, maybe as I started to come back, Ryan's tracking me, and I just freaking cannot remove this hook. If that's the case, hands come to here, and then I just basically stand up. So three methods of getting inside control, never straight on. So I can outflank him just by taking a step. When he starts to get his angle back, I just step in. As he's moving to get his angle back, that's when I can step out of a circle this way. Boom, I'm inside. Second method is that was lower body, upper body. I can just push him that way. And as he tries to bring his leg back, I just step in. Or from here, kind of like a combination, um, I can lift. So from there, I can maybe get wrist control and head control. Start pushing. Then I let go and I find that. I just pull and get angle. And now he let go. I mean, yes, possibly I could try to pass from here, but I'm not controlling his hips. The minute I let go and he pulls his leg back, I just step in. And now we're back into the same game again. So if I've got wrist control, I'm coming over, rolling over his shoulder, and we're back into T-Kamir position. I'm late, Ryan comes to his knees. 
We did show you how to sweep from there. Another thing I can do is I can bring two feet and just put them on his knee. And as I push out on his knee here, I'm just taking him back towards me. And I'm back on his back. So that is our first method of dealing with passing butterfly to the Khmer position from standing.